Are you ready to redefine what it means to thrive at any age? Welcome to Age is Just a Number with BJ and Ruth. In your 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, you deserve to live your best life. Say goodbye to preconceived notions and let's shatter those stereotypes together. Get ready to own your vitality because age, well, that's just a number. Hey everybody, it's BJ and Ruth and we're back talking about health and fitness and uh, today I'd like to know Ruth why you're not losing body fat because I haven't started my prep yet <laughs> <laughs> boy that's putting me on the spot <laughs> so, um, what, we're, what we're talking about today is why uh, you may not be losing right. your own whether, body fat. Right. Whether it applies for you or it applies for us or uh, whatever that looks like. He didn't like. tell me he was going to do that to me anyways. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, number one, <laughs> and, and probably uh, one of the easiest ones is eating too close to bedtime. That's going to stall your gains. Uh, there's a couple of parts to this, okay? Yeah. There's eating too close to bedtime, and then there's also what you're eating too close to bedtime. Right. So let's start with eating a bunch of junk too close to bedtime. Right. Ice cream, pizza. Which is all good stuff. Right? Ice cream, pizza, <laughs> cookies. Like I, if I'm having a free day, I'll eat pizza right up until I can't eat it anymore. Right. Along with whatever desserts I can eat at the same time. At the same right? time. Yeah. So I, I get that, okay? But so if, if your plan isn't making progress, if you're not seeing the numbers change, and we're talking about fat loss now. Yeah, so what we're <laughs> talking about are people that are currently trying and, and they're, yeah. it's, it's, they're not effective. So yeah. why are you and, not effective? And, and so that's what we wanna break down today. And we have a, we're going to have an episode coming up where we talk about the whole thing of is it possible to add muscle and lose fat at the same time. And I'm gonna tell you, from the latest research, it certainly is. Oh, we know it. So As bodybuilders, we know it. And so we're gonna look at that in a different episode. But in this one, we're just talking about why, what's happening that might be derailing your uh, fat loss goal right now and progress. And part of this, you may say, well, I don't, that doesn't apply to me, great but these are some things that you can just be aware of, or it might be something that you say, well, three of those apply to me, and we'll talk about maybe some options of how we can do some workarounds or things like that. Yep. So, yep. Um, but so number one is eating junk before bed. You would think that's pretty straightforward, but um, it, it is just what it is. If you eat a whole bunch of uh, high carb, high calorie food and go to bed, your, your, body, your body is about to slow down to the cl closest metabolic rate to being dead <laughs> while, you're, you're, while, you're, you're, while you're alive, yeah, while yeah. you sleep. Where do those calories go? Yeah. They're all going to be stored as body fat. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, here's the other interesting thing is for different people, they have a tendency to store fat in different places. Mm -hmm. So there's no... You know, there's no carte blanche answer to, will I store a lot of, will I store fat in this area or that area? Yeah. Some people will store more fat in their abs. Some people will store more fat in their legs or in their butt. Hmm? Were you saying something? Uh, pointing, pointing <laughs> to the hips <laughs> and saying an A word. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So what can you do? Uh, one thing to do is you can spread out your calorie intake over the day Yeah. so that if you know you're getting hungry before, right before bed, maybe you need to just spread those calories out a little bit more. So in the evening, you're still getting, maybe it's after supper, but you're getting some kind of quality snack and it still fits your, your macro profile, your calorie profile, your nutrition plan. How's that? And a lot of people eat out of boredom. So if, if, you're, if you're winding down your evening, you've had a crazy day, you're exhausted, maybe you want to put on a movie and just relax. A lot of people then want to eat out of boredom boredom. Sure. So really go back to that whole meal planning and plan for healthy snacks. What are yeah. some healthy snacks sure. versus that bag of chips or that, <clears throat> that bag of cookies or the ice cream? Because it yeah. all tastes great, but it's not, it's not great for you to Absolutely. keep you going forward. Sure. And whereas you can have some nuts, that's, uh, that's actually a quality, good fat snack. Yeah. Um, that especially before bed is not high carb or high protein, so easier for your body to manage while your body metabolism is, or 
sort of slowing down, but we're gonna look at one where it's, it's still a positive thing to do yeah. it that way. So yeah, spread out your calories through the day. That's a simple one. Um, the other part of it is, and we'll get to this one on another one of our uh, items here, but get rid of the snacks that from your home that are going to be trouble. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. So, and, and you know, we're all in different situations where I have uh, my daughter at home. So there's, yeah. so there's a certain amount of maybe not the greatest snack food, but yeah. for the most part, she eats what I eat. And, right? and, and I, for me personally, in my past, every bodybuilding diet prep that I would go <clears> into, <throat> I had two teenage boys in the house. And so, yeah, there were cookies and Doritos and chips and, and all that stuff. And it's, um, it's just knowing what's in your home and knowing how to navigate around yep. it. Yep. Okay. That's number one. Uh, number two, you're bored with the food in your nutrition plan. And so you start to get outside of that nutrition plan and you start yeah. to eat kind of whatever. Uh, an easy thing for that is variety and flavor. You don't, you, you know, just because you didn't put a whole bunch of um, seasoning that's full of sugar doesn't mean it has to be flavorless. Right. Right. So there's, a, there's ways to flavor your food in, an hel in a healthy way. And then also variety. So, for example, you can eat salmon one night. You could have chicken one night. You could have uh, maybe sole another yeah. night. There's all sorts of, and I'm just giving protein options, but there's, there's quality protein options so that you can mix and match and not have the same thing every time. There, there is, and, and you know what? It, a lot of it, again, it's planning. It, yeah. And so, um, yeah, don't, don't think of it as it's boring, it's a diet. Think of it as, you know, how can you bring, incorporate yeah. good, healthy, flavorful choices and get more creative? Yeah, and that will keep, it'll help you to stay within the parameters. Yeah. Because when you get bored like that, or you're like, this doesn't taste, I don't want to eat this. I don't want to eat you, it, then it you're like more, cardboard. Yeah, yeah, then you're more likely to go out and eat something else. And, and the variety is helpful. Yeah. I, am, I am not like most people in that I'm good with eating the same thing every day. Yeah. Right. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. It was funny, you know, as a kid, I never had a problem with having the same thing in my lunch every day yeah. and having the same thing for breakfast every day. Didn't bother me at all. Right. So, but that's not everybody. Right. So, and I typically, uh, now when I go into a prep, I like different flavors, different colors. So I, but I've, I've taken the time to understand macros. So I know how many grams of carbs, I know how many grams of protein and how many grams yeah. of fats. And I can, I can incorporate those into my day, but I like the, I, I get bored. So I like the change. So it, you can, it's very doable and very possible. Right. Okay. Uh, number three, you get yourself in situations where you're, you get, basically you get too hungry. And so you end up losing control. Yeah. And so this happens to everybody. If you allow yourself to get that hungry, Yeah. Uh, where you know, you're not going to have like one slice of something like pizza. You're, you're going to have, have the whole pizza. You're going to have the whole yeah. pizza because you're so <laughs> hungry. Yeah. And you're, you know, basically your appetite is completely bypassing your brain. Yeah. Which is trying to say, whoa. And you're like, no, I'm, I'm going, I'm all in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I, I remember after a competition one time, uh, I was thinking to myself, okay, I need to eat this as fast as I can before my brain, because the show was done. You got 20 minutes and yeah, before the my brain kick gets, in and say you're full. <laughs> right? So same, same idea though. We start eating and you eat and you just start, you, you know, yeah. out of control, Yeah. which again comes back to planning. So be aware if you're, if you know you're going to have some period of time that maybe is a little bit longer for some reason, or just have a, a, a backup plan. So maybe you're in a meeting and it ends up going longer. Well, I have a bar in the car or I have a bar or in a my office shake. or a or shake. Or have something. Or I have some fruit or I have some vegetables or something yeah. uh, that I can have a quick, quick snack of something to take the edge off. Do you know, I have many bodybuilding uh, friends who would often say to me, you know, well, protein shake isn't real food and we, we, I only want to prep on real food. And I get that totally. But in my world, like as a realtor and you're a realtor too, we can, we can be with clients, we can be in meetings, we can, and so much better to grab that shake or grab that bar right. to keep you going and tide you over rather than to get yourself 
to that point that you've gone too long without food. To the and point of no return. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You, you put, great. You put yourself you know, into starvation mode. And you know what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. At least, let, let's understand this. Know yourself well enough to know. To know. I know myself well enough to know when I'm going to cross this line. Yeah. And it won't matter. So don't let yourself right. go there. Yeah. Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number four. You, so now number four reason why you're not losing fat is you're not, how do we say this? You're trying to snack, but you're not snacking properly. Right. How's that? So this all goes back to uh, being aware of what your overall nutrition plan is, right? It's not just picking a snack out of the air and saying, I'm going to, it's going to work here. What is your nutrition plan? What do your numbers look like? Are your macros and your calories and all of those things? Yeah. So, <clears throat> so when I have snacks set up and a lot of this, it just comes back to what you said, preparation. So I have snacks set up so that when it's time for me to eat a, a, another meal that's not quote unquote a main meal, it's prepared. Yeah. It's quality nutrition, it's quality food, it's not my, <laughs> this is hilarious, my daughter asked me yesterday, um, she said, um, what are those crackers that are like fish? The uh, goldfish. Fish, gold, yeah, the goldfish. Cra cra goldfish crackers. My kids loved them too. My, my, do <laughs> my, my daughter's a teenager and she, she said to me, she said, Dad, those the goldfish crackers are okay, right? I started laughing, <laughs> and, and it's like, I, I, okay for what? What, what? what are you thinking? You want to do with them? Well, they're okay to snack on, aren't they? It's like, mm, mm, yeah. maybe read the box next read time you label. see one yeah. and see if there's any actual real food in there. Yeah, but that's a great example of someone having a snack that thinking maybe that's and that's not in our house just so you know she must have got it from <laughs> used whatever, to be in mine <laughs> must have got it from some friends but um but it, it's somebody eating something thinking it's a quality snack bottom line is turn the package around read the label what is in that yeah and, and if it if if it you if you read it you would probably go not the best choice whereas if you if you took a rice cake or, um, and maybe, you know, had some, um, no cream, some, whip, <laughs> some, some grapes, some, uh, a rice cake, some, heavy, some heavy cream natural cheese. peanut butter on it. Heavy cream Na cheese. <laughs> no cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me here. <laughs> Plan the snacks. Plan the snacks. Just eat everything. No. <laughs> okay. All right. Number five. Um, you don't think you're making enough progress, so you just dive into uh -huh. no man's land. I'm going to eat whatever because yeah. I'm not happy with the progress I'm making. I stepped on the scale today. I expected to be a pound less or a half a pound less than I was. So this isn't working. Throw the hands up in the air. I'm going to go and eat everything. So you're going to give up? Basically. <laughs> I'm, I'm, until you're done. Okay. Right? Until you're done. And then you're going to be like, oh, what have I done? Oh, you cheated. And then you start over. Right. The next day, so but you, you feel really every bad. Every time you cheat, you're just going to constantly spin your wheels and restart right. and restart but, and restart. Right. And, and a big part of this and a few of the ones we're going to look at from here is you need to trust the process. Yeah. I heard this repeatedly from my coach yeah. from my last competition. Uh, not my first one, my, my second one, because progress wasn't what we had expected. Right. And so I heard it repeatedly, trust the process, Yeah. trust the process, uh, and stick with the plan. In the same way, whether you're making progress or not, you need to trust the process. And if you have a coach, you need to talk to your coach about what's going on in, in my nutrition plan. Why are my numbers not happening? Maybe there's an adjustments that need to be made, but do not make them where you're just throwing your hands up in the air and saying it's not working so I'm just going to And I, and it. I think part of what goes along with that is 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 about cheating <clears throat> is be honest with yourself. Like if you can't be honest, if you can't honestly say I messed up, I cheated, I screwed up and own it and move forward. And if you're constantly, well, no, no, I don't know why it's not working. I'm doing right? everything I'm supposed to be doing. It's like no, you're not. <clears throat> yeah. If you can't be honest with yourself, shame on you. Yeah. You, you know <laughs> Uh, years ago, when I was in uh, I was in Edmonton, and my uh, my friend was a gym owner, and he uh, also did diet and nutrition plans, and um, he was telling me about this guy that he was doing his diet for whatever competition. There's a lot more competitions I don't know about now, but there were back then in Edmonton. Yeah. And he said, 
I, I couldn't figure it out. His weight was not moving and his weight was not moving. He said, I kept asking him, is, what are are you we, doing? what's going on? <laughs> How are we doing? He said, and it's, he said, yeah, everything's fine. I'm not doing anything different. He said, so I actually followed him one night, he said, from wherever. <laughs> he said, and I follow him and he pulls into A&W and uh -huh. he loads up in the drive through and then I, he said, I drive up, because he's parked off to the side, he said, I drive up and he's basically inhaling these burgers. Right. And he's, wondered, he's like, okay, well now we know why it's not working. Well, yeah. Right? But, and so. I, think, I think it boils down to, you got to be honest <clears throat> with yourself. This is <clears throat> something you're, you're doing for yourself. And if you yeah. can't be honest with you, you, you got you to go back to the drawing board. Right. Yeah. Okay. So the next one okay. is not effectively being able to manage eating out or going out with friends oh yeah okay so yeah. let's say you go out and you're going out with your friends and everybody's eating nachos and you look on the menu and there's like no real quality kind of options yeah so you're like meh I'm just gonna have these nachos and by the way bring me some chicken wings and on top of that bring me this <laughs> and bring me some of this and bring me some of that too right Okay. So you dive right in and, oh, while we're at it, I better have a couple of beer as well. Talking okay. about the kind of worst calorie intake that you can have. Right. Right? Right. So instead of coming into the situation and saying, okay, I have a plan going in. I have a plan going in, yeah. Right? So I know when I go to, uh, even go to meetings or, you know, restaurants or whatever, and I'm, depending on what my nutrition plan looks like for that day, I will eat before I go. Okay. So I don't that, do that. <laughs> <laughs> but but th this is so that when I'm there, I can reasonably have a conversation and not be tempted to eat what they're eating. What they're eating. And maybe there's, maybe I can find something close. Here's the other thing. Maybe you go to the restaurant and you can find something that's close to your nutrition plan, but not exactly. Well, go with that. Go with that. And what I, what I typically do, where, what you do is great, <clears throat> but what I typically do is if I walk in blind, um, I'll order a salad, dressing on the side, and then protein. So yep. gr grilled chicken or, or salmon on the salad. So I've got my greens, which is my fibrous carb, and I've got my protein. Dressing is on the side, so I can, yeah. I can, I can keep it in, in check as to how much I'm putting on. Yeah. But ideally, if I know where we're gonna meet, in this day of everything's on our phone and we can Google yeah. anything, I Google the restaurant, yeah. I look up the menu online, I actually take the time to go through it and I give myself a, what are my three, what are a few choices based on what I'm, I'm looking at? And I'm not feeling that, that crunch of it being in front of other people. So I, I kind of walk into the place with a kind of a mindset as to what I'm probably going to order. Yeah, certainly it helps to be as informed as you can be and it's, Again, we're in the era that it's the easiest to be informed yeah. that, that it has been. Yeah. So uh, make some kind of plan. So when you go to, and here's the other part. If you're just going to go to the restaurant and eat whatever, great. That's fine. Make sure that's part of the plan of your overall nutrition plan. Like when yeah, I, if it's in the plan that you can have a treat meal and you can mm -hmm. eat anything, then that's what that is. Enjoy it 100%. Yeah. Like when, when I have, I, I don't know when I'll have another one, but the last free day I had where we had pizza, Rhea Marie and I had pizza and whatever else. Zero guilt. Enjoy yeah. every bite of it. Enjoy every bite of it because yeah. you've planned it. Planning yeah. is, it, it's being accountable. So being honest and being accountable and planning. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number, I think we're on number seven okay. is uh, travel. You haven't figured out how to travel and follow your nutrition plan while traveling. Yeah. And that's a big one because you, we realize we're on the road. Maybe you're on a road trip, so you're driving or even on, on, a, on a flight or whatever it is. But um, you're, you're hungry, you're on the road, you're hungry, and then what? Well, what are my options? Tim Hortons, there's probably some stuff at Tim Hortons that, well, there's coffee at Tim Hortons that's black that you can have that's gonna be not, <laughs> not like a nutritional landmine. Yeah. Um, just from a calorie point of view. Yeah. So you just have to figure out what that looks like when you're gonna travel. And even, so go to, if it's Tim Hortons, okay, there must be some source of the cleanest protein, maybe not, not perfect. Like we said, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a salad and maybe chicken on that salad. On that, on right? that salad, yeah. Or whatever that looks like. Or even, I, I, I don't know the calorie breakdown, but they have chili. Maybe that works for what you're, what you're having. And even Tim Hortons will, if you go online, pull up their menu, nutritional facts, they'll give you the calorie breakdown sure. of every dish that they have. Every fast food <coughs> restaurant does that now. Uh, Wendy's, yeah. McDonald's, they all do it. 
Um, <laughs> restaurants, not so much, but some do. So it, it's just be, you know, make yourself aware. And yeah. so it, diet, putting yourself into, into a, you know, diet prep or however, whatever word you want to use for it, it's very yeah. doable these yeah. days. And I think the other part of that is be aware of, of, of that plan so that if you're on, the last time when uh, Rhea Marie and I were, um, we were holidaying somewhere, we just, I just decided, okay, well, I'm going to eat good to get to there and yeah. then I'm going to eat whatever while we're there and yeah. just enjoy every part of it and then I'm back to eating good when I get back. Yep. So I, I accounted for it or planned for it. Yeah. Right. So in the same way, if you're, if you're saying, no, I, I need to stick with this plan while I'm on my holiday, then you need to figure out what does that look like? What does it look like? How are you going to make that happen? And um, in most restaurants, you can go in and order a whatever the protein source is, uh, a salad and some kind of quality carb to go with it. Yep. And that'll, that should get you through that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. The last one or two really, but they go together and they both kind of come back to, we become impatient with results or a lack of results. And so we just throw in the towel. We're not seeing enough changes either on the scale or uh, in the mirror. And so, we're such an impatient society, aren't right? we? <laughs> so, so we, we, we just kind of say, you know, forget it. Right. Right. It's not worth it. Right. Right. I think, and I think a lot of that goes back to when you originally <clears throat> create the goal, you set a timeline to that goal yep. and be realistic. Don't be unrealistic. Unrealistic expectations, you're going to set yourself up for failure yep. right for, out of the gates. Yep. So, you know, that's where, um, as a personal trainer and me, it was always telling my, my training clients one to two pounds of body weight per week is nice. Two is very aggressive. Yeah. Let's go with one. Yeah. Slow and steady. Yes. We'll get, we'll get it. it done. Yeah. Not this quick stuff. Yeah. Where, and that, yeah, yeah. That's a hundred percent. The solution 100%. here is having realistic goals yeah. right up front that if it's, if it's a pound a week, yeah. um, then okay, that's what I'm going to do. You know, if you're just starting, maybe you're going to lose more fat right up front yeah. and then it'll slow down. You have to adjust or maybe you're going to decide, Hey, I'm going to go for half a pound a week and that's fine. The, the point is that you've got a plan and you've you're doing something yeah. and that, and that you know what that looks like. And you know, we've talked about this before the, the value of having some kind of accountability with coaching, with somebody who can give you some oversight and feedback in your nutrition plan, in your training plan, and, and you can gauge what's happening, right? Yeah. Like, you know, for me, um, it's, it's one of the things that it does for me having a coach is that I don't have to think about it. Right. Right. I don't have to think about what am I eating. Uh, it's going to be one of these things off of this list for this t meal of this day. Yeah. It's going to be one of the things for this meal of this day. Yeah. And so it takes from, and that's just me. You have to figure out what works for you. And you got to figure out what works for you. Cause that works for you to hire a coach to tell you what to eat. I used to do it all on my own and I've always done it all on my own. So I, I, that works for me. What you do works for you. Right. So it's, it's, it's making that choice. Do you want to hire a coach and have that person do your meal plan for you and tell you what to do and then right. you simply follow it? Yeah. For me, it was more of the, I like variety and I like, I like to have <clears> options. <throat> and so I would take the time, but it was a lot more planning yeah. to act right out of the gates to go, what, what does my, you know, if I go into a 12 week prep, what does it look like every single week, every single day, every single yeah. meal? And um, I, I should add one thing to that with, with my coach is we also, um, we have a maintenance plan too. So this yeah. isn't, I just don't have a coach for when I'm trying to lean out or add muscle. There's the maintenance part of just living, just call living. it just the living met plan. Yeah. Right? And, and, and for me, I've always done it myself. So I often see food in numbers. I see it in, in grams and fat and proteins and carbs and number and of chicken wings. You see number of chicken wings. I see the number <laughs> of grams of fat and protein and carbs. Uh, I like chicken wings, but <laughs> I also, I, I also know what you're getting in that chicken. Yeah. Wing from so, but we're very different in our approaches. And so maybe that, that, that's a good example to, to, to tell you that 
it's not one size fits all. Yeah. You go with what works for you. Yeah. However, yeah. Yeah, figure out what that is. And, yeah. and, and as long as it's something that you can do consistently, we've talked about consistency and the importance of consistency. So there's, you know, there's, there's a lot of stuff that we went over here today and you might say, well, some of it applies, some of it doesn't, wonderful. Take what applies, be aware of other stuff so that you can plan ahead for things. Yeah. And you know, this is all about putting something together that we can continue forward in all of our um, fitness journeys and, and wherever you're at. You may say, well, I don't need to you know, lose uh, a whole bunch of fat right now. Great. Then there's a part of focusing on maybe it's so maybe you want to ma maintain. Yeah. Maybe you like where you're at, but you want to maintain because you don't want to get out of control. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And there's the conditioning part of it. Maybe we just want to stay in good condition. Maybe you want to add muscle. Whatever it is, nutrition is a big part of that. Like we it's always, huge. right? Like it's we huge. we always say, you cannot out train a bad diet. No, you can't. And so. and and it all starts with honesty, uh, transparency, and accountability. There you go. Well, thank you for joining us today. If you haven't, please take a minute and subscribe to the channel. We are uh, working towards growing the channel and putting up regular content every. Uh, every week and, and we want to build a community here of like-minded people that we can be here to encourage each other that we can be here um, for those of us that like Ruth and I were uh, Ruth is older than me by the way um, but uh, <laughs> I am uh, and, and so Ruth is actually always going to be older than me uh -huh. but um, <laughs> so uh, Ruth's about to turn 55. I why. am and so I'm just about on at the end of April, April 25th, I will be starting my 12 week prep as I, and I'm making it known because I find if I put it out there, boy, you are, you're all going to make me accountable. So, And I'm going to have a 12 week prep to get okay. to age 55. Okay, well there you go. Um, so anyway, maybe you're like us and in your 50s or maybe you're in your 60s or 70s or I know there's there's somebody in their 80s. They said they, they, they saw some great stuff that we had for them. So we want to build a community. Maybe you're in your 40s, your 30s, wherever you're and at. we just don't know how to start. Yeah, and, yeah. or we just want to do it together, right? So thank you for subscribing and, 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 and joining in with us and joining in with this Age is Just a Number family. And, and if you uh, have any comments or if you want to just share some, some information about you, Put it in the comments. Yeah, we'd, we'd, 100%. we'd love to hear. And, 100%. And, and, and th well, this would be a good one too that you could put in there is what about you? If you have something that you say, you know, this is probably my, my biggest challenge when it comes to sticking with my nutrition plan. Yeah. Uh, and we didn't cover it. Put it in the comments because yeah. that can help somebody else too. So we can uh, talk about it. Yeah, 100%. So thank you all for joining us. We'll see you next time. See ya.